Welcome to another free tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Rost. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you about the switch function, which is an alternative to nesting a bunch of if functions together. The switch function was added in Access 2007, and at the time, I even missed it myself. But I just recently discovered this, thanks to a question from one of my students, and the switch function can definitely save you some time if you're typing in big, long, complicated if functions. So here's my table set up. I've got an auto number ID, the student's name, the student's numeric grade, 92, 76, and so on, and I'd like to assign them a letter grade. So 90 and up is A, 80 to 89 is B, and so on, all the way down to D, A, B, C, D, F. Now, traditionally, I would do this in a query, so I'll close the table, save changes, yes, create, query design, bring in my student T, I'll bring in the student and the grade, and right here, I would type in my if statement. Now, if you're not familiar with the if statement, I have several other videos available that teach you how to use the if function. The if function is very easy to use. It's if, I, I, F, that stands for immediate if, and three bits of data. First is the condition you're checking. The second part is the value if it's true. The third part is the value that if it's false. And you can nest multiple if functions together. For example, I've replaced the value of false with another if function. You can do this multiple times. However, if you do more than three or four, it, it starts to get a little unruly to read and work with. For example, here, I'd say my letter grade colon is equal to if the grade is over 90, comma, actually it should be greater than or equal to 90, comma, give this student an A, comma, the value if false is another if statement. If the grade is greater than or equal to 80, give a B, comma, another if statement. Right, grade is greater than or equal to 70, comma, C. And I'll just stop there. You can keep going and do D and F as well. Uh, close up my parentheses. Actually, let's say uh, grade is greater than or 70. There's a C, and then we'll go F otherwise. There's no D. Right, and then close it up. So I've got A, B, C, or F. Save that, and then run it, and there you can see the letter grades. Now, as you can imagine, if you've got a whole bunch of different conditions, 7, 8, 10 conditions, this does get quite unruly. Now, you could use a DLOOKUP if you want to pull this information out of another table. I've got several other videos as well that talk about the DLOOKUP function. That's where if you've got a whole table full of information, you can look up a value from that table. But there's an easier way right in here with the switch statement. The switch statement is just a series of conditions followed by the value. So for example, if grade is greater than or equal to 90, comma, put an A there, comma, if grade is greater than or equal to 80, put a B there, comma, if grade is greater than or equal to 70, put a C there, and so on. It's just a condition followed by a value, followed by another condition, followed by another value. Now, I'll say for the rest of them, if grade is less than 70, put an F there. And that's the same thing that I wrote a minute ago, but as you can see, I'm not nesting if functions inside each other. This is much easier to read and to write. And the end result gives you the same thing. If you'd like to learn more about the if function, the switch function, the choose function, and lots more, visit my website, accesslearningzone.com. Look for my Access Expert Level 25 class. That's the part one of my Guide to Functions series. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below. I post new videos all the time, so be sure to subscribe to my channel for updates. I've got lots of other free Microsoft Access tips and tricks videos online, plus lessons in other subjects like Word, Excel, Visual Basic, Windows 8, and lots more. 
And also, don't forget to click to visit my website, accesslearningzone.com. You can watch my entire three-hour beginner level one class for free. And if you like it, you can get level two, another 90-minute lesson, for just $1. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.